Welcome to Nike 3 d tutorial. Today we are going to start a new set of tutorials on piping. Before we do anything, let's go on the concepts of piping in E3D pipe routing. I'm Tiam Seng. Before we begin pipe routing, we need to create the folders or storage areas to store our piping elements. These folders are the site and zone elements. The significance of these elements are the position and orientation and the some descriptive text. The position and orientation information means that the position of the piping components can be reported in a coordinate system required. If the site is at level 3 of the plan or platform, we can set the site with an elevation of level 3. And within that level, the zone may be an area in that level. And we can set the northing and eastings for that zone. Hence, when a report of piping position is required, the coordinate can be based on the area. Let's start our discussion with the PNID. If you have three pieces of equipment connected together via pipes like in this PNID, the name of this line is 100E-1 with piping class A3B. This line is equivalent to a pipe element in E3D with piping specs A3B. Sometimes we add information like area number to the pipe name, but the line number should be in the E3D pipe. You can see that the pipe element is created beneath the zone in the E3D hierarchy. In this example, the three pieces of equipment are already positioned. Let's add the three pieces of equipment into our 3D view. You will have noticed by now that I've used the command feature for this concept video, putting the step-by-step -step presentation into the command. Now let's look at the branch concept. The branch is an element with start and end point of a pipe routing. For this case, there are three branches in this pipe routing. The first branch between the two equipment based on flow from pump to column. The second branch and the third branch, which is the bypass. We will create the first branch defining the start and end point by referencing the connecting nozzles. When creating the branch, E3D can obtain information like piping ball size, the start and end direction, from the nozzle as well as the position of the start and end of the branch which is called the head and the tail of the branch. A dotted line will represent the branch before the rear piping components are added. This information are stored as attribute in the branch element. You can see this head and tail information in the properties. After the empty branch is created, we can start adding components to the branch. When creating the branch component, the order of the branch component is important. So for example, we start with a gasket, 
and the flange and the reducer, you can see that the items are in order. One of the unique things of E3D is that there are no elements for the pipes. And these pipes are called impract tube because they will fill up the gap between two components if they are aligned together. In the piping component, you cannot see primitives like equipment. The component reference the piping catalog. Let me mess up the order of the components. Now you can see that the impact tips are missing and there are dotted lines to actually join between the adjacent components in the hierarchy. Let's undo this with the undo button or control Z. Now that we show you the concept of piping in E3D, in our next tutorial, we'll show you how to create pipe, branch and components in E3D. We look forward to seeing you. Bye.